you to see over there in verse 10. I want you to see, I want you to see supplies to strive. Supplies to strive. Now, before you can see the supplies, you got to see <clears throat> that it's the same mission. You got to see that part first. And once you see your mission, see your purpose, understand who God said that you're to be, and then you understand that the methods change, that's why you have to be in relationship with God and walk with God, because how he did it yesterday, brother, he may not do it today. Yeah. It's the same mission, but the methods might change. Yeah. Yeah. And then next thing, uh, now you get to the point where you are able to see supplies to strive. See, God will give you a dream that you cannot do. And step one, you'll try to say, well, Lord, show me. No, I'm not going to show you. I want you to trust me. I am not going to show you. I have clearly revealed to you the mission. I have clearly revealed to you your purpose. I have clearly revealed to you your destiny. It's not my place to reveal to you the method up front. You get that down the road. And so sometimes we, we stop doing what God told us to do. We stop believing what God says he's going to do in our lives because we can't see the method. We cannot see the how. Because if you can see the how on every particular thing and you have all the resources in your pocket, you really don't need faith. But when God gives you a great destiny, he gives you a great purpose, he gives you a tremendous dream that's bigger than yourself, believe that in due season, in due time, you will see the supplies to strive. Over there in verse 